Kapoor. Now the pandemic pandemic has made our health a drawing room conversation now. Everybody is intrigued about keeping themselves fit. We want to know about everything that's going on with our body because really moving forward, as many studies are saying, these viruses, attacks, these pandemics will continue. So the only thing that you can really keep in check is your own personal health. And contributing to that is a whole bouquet of vitamins. One king of vitamin is really vitamin D. That is something that we are going to deep dive into today. And we'll talk about what deficiency of this vitamin can do to you and what excess of this vitamin can also do to you. Let's get started by telling you some basics about vitamin D first. Now, it is an extremely important vitamin that has powerful effects on several systems throughout your body. And unlike other vitamins, D functions like a hormone. Every single cell in your body has a receptor for it. Your body makes it from cholesterol when your skin is exposed to sun. And it is also found in certain foods, such as fatty fish, fortified dairy products, etc. Though it is very difficult to get enough of this vitamin from diet alone. For most adults, the unit that you need to be watching out for when you get your vitamin D tested, and now there's a new test for that. We'll tell you about that on the course of the program as well. But it should be between 600 to 800 units, or as recommended by a doctor, some say it should actually be much higher. But just imagine how big the vitamin D deficiency really is. Well, across the world, at least 1 billion people are believed to have low levels of vitamin D and in India alone, numbers are shocking. Let's first get started with that explainer where we tell you what actually, why is it that vitamin D matters and why you should be bothered by it. Essentially, it helps to regulate the amount of calcium and uh, the phosphate in your body. These nutrients are needed to keep your bones, teeth, muscles healthy. The fallout of the deficiency is means that you will have increased risk of osteoporosis, that's bones becoming weak and triple. It is risk factor for prostate cancer, for rickets. It has impacts on bone development in kids, especially if it is found very dangerous when that happens, in, especially in younger kids. And severity, well, those linked with vitamin D are also associated. Remember COVID-19? where everybody said that along with all the functions uh, and all the vitamins and multivitamins that you're actually having, vitamin D was said to be key because that is a key thing, a king that helps in your immune function as well. But let's tell you now what low levels of vitamin D can actually do to your body. And it is not just physical. Depression said to be a major you know, sort of uh, outcome of that. Seasonal affective disorder is an outcome of that. Schizophrenia in adults also an outcome of vitamin D. In fact, depression-like symptoms like mood swings, fatigue, anxiety, all if you get yourself checked, if you've been feeling, uh, you know, very anxious of late, then it's very important you get your vitamin D tested and have a doctor look at your report as well. But let's tell you how deep the problem really is. How many people does it actually impact? Around 490 million individuals in India alone have this deficiency. We did a survey of some urban cities in Delhi. 88% of Delhiites suffer from deficiency of D. Urban India has huge vitamin D deficiency as well. Also, risk factors that are associated with vitamin D and who are the people who are more likely to get this deficiency. Let's talk about that. People with dark skin, older people, being overweight or obese, not eating much fish or dairy products, living far away from the equator areas where there is little sun around the year, always using sunscreen when going out. Well, that's a key thing we'll discuss with the panel as well. However, using sunscreen is important in helping preventing sun damage and effects it can have, including skin cancer. Staying indoors, you're more likely to have deficiency. Having chronic kidney disease, a liver disease can also make you a very good candidate for actually having a vitamin D deficiency. A gastric bypass, if you've had a surgery there, you are likely to have a deficiency in certain medicines that impact vitamin D metabolism as well. But what should you do then? Well, food that you can have to sort of better your D levels, it is milk, it is oily fish, salmon, etc. It is cheese, it is red meat, it is mushrooms, egg yolks and yogurt. So all these 
things that are generally considered to be non keto generally considered to be also very fattening all of these give you very good quantity of vitamin d so do not cut in on that and if you are already on a diet which is depriving you of these do get your vitamin d level